All right, welcome back to day six of our gravity investigation. Today we have another um, FET simulation that I really like. It's called Lunar Lander. And on this one, you're going to um, try and land onto the moon as many times as you can on one tank of fuel. That's the goal. It gives you a score um, based on how you're doing. So you can try it several times and see when, how you can get the best score possible. That's what I like about it. Um, but what does this have to do with gravity? Well, we've learned that gravity on different planets, including the moon, is different than here on Earth. Now, the moon is much smaller than Earth. It's only one-sixth the size. Um, and so because of that, the gravity of the moon is only one-sixth that of Earth. So, or in other words, Earth's gravity is 86% larger than, than um, it is on the moon. So this gives you an, some practice seeing how gravity is different on different places. That's one reason why we're doing this. The other reason is I want you to see, like we learned yesterday, that the closer you get to um, a planet or any object, the gravity gets stronger. And what you're going to see is that the gravity of the moon is kind of weak when you're farther um, farther up. But as you get closer and closer, it's going to start pulling you strongly to the, uh, to its surface. And so you're going to have to learn how to deal with that and adjust to that, that increase in gravity as you get closer to the surface. So be thinking of that as you're doing this activity. We are learning as we're doing this about gravity on other planets and also how gravity works on our own planet that the closer we are to it, the stronger it is. Okay, so um, let's get started. We're going to go to the Lunar Lander FET simulation and click the play button. First thing I'm going to do, since I'm going to try and talk you through this, the instructions, is I'm going to turn off the sound. But I do want to turn on right here the vectors. This is going to help me see um, the force or the thrust that I'm using. Um, the vectors are arrows, and so the, the um, bigger the arrow, the stronger the thrust or the push that my lunar lander is creating. And over here we see um, the buttons that are important to us. The first button that you're going to see is this, this up button. You're going to be using this one a lot. And this gives you more thrust, pushing you up against gravity. Um, we have some tilt left, right, that help us adjust where we're landing. If we hit a rock, we're done. Okay, the game is over. We've lost our fuel and we're stranded on the moon. So we want to avoid all of the rocks or uneven surfaces. We want to land only in the flat surfaces. The big flat surfaces will give you five points. Um, you can, I have heard, I haven't been able to do it, but some of the trickier flat surfaces that are harder to get to, I hear you can get as much as 50 points by leaning there. So if you're really good, try that out. Um, and then this bottom button right here produces less thrust, it lowers the amount. Um, I found that the keyboard is really helpful. The, um, the space key, I mean, the space key is um, very helpful in that it will turn off or turn on the full throttle with one tap. So uh, tapping back and forth between that helps me. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to play this for you. You can see how bad I am, and then you can try it and show, show yourself how much better you are than I am in playing this game. Have fun with it that way. When we're done, we're going to go to the form and answer some questions about gravity that we learned by playing this game. So let me hit start here, and I'm going to start by pushing the up arrow, okay, I'm pushing the up arrow, and you see the yellow, that's my thrust. There you go, I hit space key, pushing up again, and I hit space key, boom. Now I had a hard landing, okay, so I want to see, remember that, I had one hard landing. You get more points if you can have soft landings. So right here, my score is at the bottom of the screen, I got five points for that landing, and over here I'm looking at my fuel. Um, this is, I have 771 kilograms of fuel left, so that means I can keep going. I can take off again and land somewhere else and increase my score. So the question is, how many successful landings can I have on one tank of fuel? Let's see. I'm not very, uh, usually I can't get more than three. Let's try. So in order to launch again, I'm going to use the upward thrust button, the up arrow. I'm holding it down. There we go. I, and then I push the space key. I'm now toggling. Space key again. There we go. Trying to get to another place. I'm keeping the space key there. Notice how I'm using my angles. Let's 
Trying to land. Oh, I got another hard landing. But that's, oh, this was in a tighter spot, so they gave me 10 points for this one. So now my score is 15 points. I still have 674 kilograms of fuel, so I'm good to keep going. There we go. Another takeoff. Thrusting up. I hit the space key so I don't go up too far. I have done this where I've gone so far up that I have gone into outer space and gotten lost there. Try to avoid that. Okay, I'm adjusting my movable. Don't want to hit that rock right there. Notice that. Oops. If I hit that rock, this is game over. Mm. Coming back down. Ooh, three landings on one ticket fuel. This is my best yet. You got to see it. All right, so now I have 509 kilograms of fuel left. I can keep going, and I have 20 points. They gave me five points for that hard landing there. Notice I have not yet got a soft landing. All right, I'm going to show you what a bad uh, landing looks like. So I'm going to do Here we go. Launch again. Oops, going too high. Coming back down, notice how it's slowly pulling me down. And then the longer, the closer I get, the faster I'm coming. Ah, not a rock. And as soon as I hit a rock, I lose all my fuel, and the game is over. I didn't get any points for that, so I stop with 20 points. Okay, I hit a boulder, leg is damaged, fuel is lost, I'm stranded on the moon. Yikes. All right, so now once I've played, um, I'm going to go back to our presentation, and I'm going to click on this part right here. It says Lunar Lander Form. This is what I'm going to assess uh, with in Skyward. So here it tells you the rules again that I just explained to you. You can look over those again. Um, and I'm just asking you things about um, how your experience with this game went. So, for example, the arrow that appears when you click the up button represents upward thrust. I showed you that, right, when you were going up. Um, upward thrust force from the rockets at the base of the lander. This helps counteract the force pulling you down. What is the name of the force that pulls us down? Okay, well, obviously that means gravity, right? Um, so those, that's the type of questions you're going to see here. What happens if you uh, give the lunar lander too much thrust? Well, like I said, that's when you start floating back up into space, right? Too little thrust, you crash back down. That's what I had happen, right? Uh, at the end there. So feel free to go through here and answer all the questions. Um, if you need to go back to the um, simulator, do it. If you've got a really good score and you want to show me, um, uh, take a snippet of the picture and then load it up here in the file, I'm going to be making a leaderboard and telling who got the highest score. So I have a little competition here. Who can uh, land the most times and the best on the moon? Okay, put your score, a picture of your score right in here, and then I'll post those the next day. Good luck. All right, talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.